that didn't work. <sighs> well, this didn't work. This thing has a ton of bump steer. I don't know if you guys can see that from that angle, but uh, that did not work. So I think I have an idea on how to fix this. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but let's uh, let's try it.
Alright, so I'm now testing the suspension to see if it works and to see if this is strong enough to hold up the weight of this thing, and unfortunately, this does not work. It is not strong enough to hold up the weight of this frame. Um, right now, the back end is held up by the back tire. I took the bricks off holding it up, so therefore the weight of the engine is on the suspension. Once I take the bricks off the front, the frame almost bottoms out. Once I add my weight to this thing, it almost touches the ground. So now there's still a lot more stuff I need to add to here, so therefore this does not work. It is way too soft. Um, and that is uh, simply because of how I designed these, because this dimension and this dimension are equally spaced apart from each other from the pivot point, and that doesn't work. So therefore I designed and made these. These are a little bit different to where this pivot point or this dimension is one inch closer than this dimension. Therefore, giving this mechanical advantage, making this travel more, this traveling less, therefore making it to where this suspension will hopefully be stiffer and have this thing hold up the weight of this thing. So uh, I made these last night. Let's, uh, let's swap these out. For, uh, or let's swap these out for these and see if this fixes the problem.
All right, so we got the front suspension finally finished. It's a little bit on the soft side, but uh, you know it does does work. It does hold up the thing. Um, as far as how tall the uh, or how high this thing is off the ground, we can always play around with that later on, uh, just by lengthening this or shortening this to whatever we need this to to be. I want to do that after we add everything to this because we're still not done with this frame and we still need to add a bunch more stuff. It's going to add more weight, making it sag lower to the ground. Same thing with the back. The back is the suspension. It's a bit on the stiff side. Um, I'm not really sure what to do about that. I, I, I know that shock is like some kind of uh, uh, adjustable. <laughs> I'm not really sure how, but... I, I don't know. We'll figure that out later on, but once we need we need to uh, wait until we uh, finish the frame, then we can play around with the, sus the suspension, the ride height, and the stiffness and all that kind of stuff. But for now, uh, this the uh, it's finally holding up its uh, its own weight. So now, before you guys say that these are backwards, which they are, this is intentional. Um, they really wouldn't have worked if I put, put them this way just because the pedals have to go here and already the, the rack and pinion is kind of in the way of the pedals so therefore I wanted to do them this way. Also, I did a post on Instagram asking you guys which way looks better. I put them over here, one picture, and then I put them over here, the other picture, and I wanted to say 85% of you guys uh, answered the second picture, which was having them facing down, facing forward, closer together, which I think it looks way better. You know, once I put the uh, the three pedals up here, it's going to get a little crowded in here. Um, plus, this was just empty space anyways. So it still works. It still does the same thing. It's just facing forward. So anyway, I, I got to end this video here. I've been kind of, uh, you know, taking a really long time. Uh, working on this, I know I didn't upload anything last Sunday. I kind of took uh, Christmas off. Me and my sister went up to uh, to Vegas uh, for Christmas for three days, so that was awesome. But uh, anyway, I gotta end this video here. Now I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending us the parts we've used for this project. Links for everything will be in the description below. Go check that out. I gotta end this video here. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see ya in the next video. Oh, this thing sucks. <laughs> I can't see where I'm cutting, though. Uh. I'm gonna try a more aggressive blade. I think I need to tighten the belt a little bit. It's uh, slipping really bad. Yeah, let me tighten the belt. Huh? Yeah, I'd say that works a lot better. I think it's kind of working. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Yeah, I'll be perfectly honest. I really don't like how this turned out. It, it looks like Swiss cheese. Uh, I tried to do some type of pattern looking thing, but it just really didn't turn out like how I thought it would. But um, at least it's weight reduction, so, you know, it's, it should work.